In any ecosystem, you will find many predators and prey. Some well-known predators include lions, black bears, or the star of the movie Predators. Predators. They are all huge and dangerous. So, if you are lost in the jungle, the best chance to survive is to stay somewhere in the middle of the plants. Not so fast, because if you are unlucky, you might find yourself end up around these most dangerous plants on Earth. And believe it or not, won't be any safer than being surrounded by a deadly animal. Number 10. Green Pitcher Plant Green Pitcher Plant has highly modified leaves in the form of pitchers that act as people traps for prey. The green pitcher plant traps insects using a tubular roll leaf, which collect digestive juices at the bottom. Prey entering the tube find that their footing is made extremely uncertain by the smooth, waxy secretions found on the surfaces of the upper portion of the tube. Insects losing their footings on the surface plummet to the bottom of the tube, where a combination of digestive fluid, wetting agents, and inward pointing hairs prevent their escape. Conclusion, small prey has got no chance of escape. Number 9. Tropical Pitcher Plant Tropical pitcher plant using the similar system like the green pitcher plant, but this tropical pitcher plant doesn't satisfy itself with small prey. They can eat much bigger animals, such as frogs, rats, or even some kind of birds. The trap contains the fluid of the plant's own production, which may be very watery or syrupy, and is used to drown the prey. Once the prey falls into this huge trap, it soon be digested by the fluid at the bottom of the trap. Number 8. Biblis or the Rainbow Plant This is a small plant lives in Western Australia. The named Rainbow Plant was originated because of the slimy drops all over the plant which, under the bright lightning conditions and viewing angle, sparkles in a rainbow of colors. The surface of the leaves is densely studded with glandular hairs, which secrete a sticky substance from the tips. They serve to attract small insects, which, upon touching the sticky secretion, are ensnared, unless they are strong enough to escape. The insect prey either die of exhaustion or asphyxiate at the mucilage, envelops them and clots their spiracles. If you ask me, it's like drowning in the land. It's even worse than the real drowning. These plants are even strong enough to kill a grown man if you sleep next to them. However, the local citizens consider this plant as an important ingredient to make glue. Number 7. Jalicia or corkscrew plant. This plant grows in west terrestrial to semi-aquatic environments distributed throughout Africa and Central and South America. They have beautiful yellow flowers, which are used to attract traps and kill their victims. The flowers have tiny hairs all in one direction, which makes it impossible to climb out once the prey has entered. This plant even has two different types of leaves to increase the chance of catching prey. One type of leaves grows on air to breathe, the other type grows underground, which can attract and trap underground prey for nutrition and water. The underground leaves are corkscrew that makes themselves look like microfauna. When small insects come close to them, they will release more sticky fluid to trap them. Number 6. Darlingtonia or Cobra Lily This plant is quite rare. They are only found in California and Orange, US. They grow in bogs and seeps with cold running water. 
The name Cobra Lily stems from the resemblance of its tubular leaves to a raring cobra, complete with a forked leaf that resembles fangs or a serpent's tongue. Its flower releases a special smell to attract insects. Once the prey is trapped, it will be led to the kitchen, in which it will be slaughtered because of the flower structure. Number 5. Utricularia or bladderwort. They occur in fresh water and wet soil as terrestrial or aquatic species in almost every continent. They don't have roots, that's why they need to hunt for food. They grow incredibly fast and create stunning silky surface. They use the leaves as small balloons, blow them to attract insects. When the insect gets closer, the balloon will invitingly open. The water flows inside, taking the insects with it and drown them while the plant is throwing a feast. Number 4. Drosera or Sandrus. This is one of the largest genera of carnivorous plants with at least 194 species. They grow all over the world with different shapes and form in different areas. They have miscellaneous glands covering the leaf surfaces to attract and trap insects when walking on the leaves. Insects will be sticked into the leaves, that's when their charging fates are determined. The insects are used to supplement the poor mineral nutrition of the soil in which the plants grow. Many Drosera species grow in book to catch a much bigger animals such as frogs, crickets, or even worms. Number 3. Pingucula or Butterwood They live widely in Europe, America, and Asia. They vary in colors and types, but all use sticky, glandular leaves to lure, trap, and digest insects for nutrition. In order to catch and digest insects, the leaves of a Butterwood uses two specialized glands which are scattered across the leaf surface. One consists of a few secretory cells on top of a single stalk cell. These cells produce a miscellaneous secretion which form visible droplets across the leaf surface. This wet appearance probably helps lure prey in search of water. Number 2. The water wheel plant. The plant captures small aquatic invertebrates using traps similar to those of the Venus fly trap. The traps are arranged in fours around a central free floating stem, giving rise to the common name. This is one of the few plant species capable of rapid movement. The traps are held by petioles which hold air sacs that aid in flotation. One end of the stem grows while the other end dies off. The actual traps consist of two lobes which fold together to form a snap trap. The traps, which are twisted so that the trap openings pointing outward, are lined on the inside by the fine coating of the trigger hair, snapping shut in response to contact with aquatic invertebrate and trapping them. The closing of the trap takes 10 to 20 milliseconds, making it one of the fastest examples of plant movement in the kingdom. Number 1. The Venus flytrap. When an insect or a spider crawling along the leaves contacts a hair, the trap prepares to close, snapping shut only if another contact occurs within approximately 20 seconds of the first strike. Triggers may occur if one-tenth of the insect is within contact. 
The requirement of redundant triggering in this mechanism serves as a safeguard against wasting energy by trapping objects with no nutrition value, and the plant will only begin digestion after five more stimuli to ensure it has caught a live bug worthy of consumption. Once it catches a prey, the trap is closed for a couple of days for the fish before it opening it again to welcome another unlucky visitor.